The final section of this course in Infection Control Principles and Isolation Precaution Practices is on hand hygiene and proper hand washing technique. Why is hand hygiene important? Hand hygiene is the single most important practice to reduce the transmission of infectious agents in the healthcare setting. What are the different methods of hand hygiene? There's hand hygiene with soap and water, and there's hand hygiene with alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Use soap and water for hand hygiene when hands are visibly soiled, before and after eating, after using the restroom, or after care of a patient on isolation for Clostridium difficile or norovirus. Use hand hygiene with alcohol-based hand sanitizer of at least 60% alcohol before and after direct patient contact, before donning sterile gloves, before inserting invasive devices, after contact with patients intact skin, after contact with objects and equipment in the room, and when moving from a contaminated body site to a clean body site during patient care. Hand hygiene techniques. The use of proper hand hygiene techniques is essential to prevent the spread of infection. When using soap and water, wet your hands, apply soap to a lather, and rub all surfaces of your hands, including your thumbs, your palms, and between your fingers. Scrub all surfaces for 30 seconds or for the amount of time that it takes to sing happy birthday two times. Rinse your hands, being careful not to splash, and use clean paper towels to dry your hands. Use a clean paper towel to turn off your faucet. When using hand sanitizer, apply a quarter size amount of gel into the center of the palm of one hand. Rub all surfaces of your hands, including your thumbs, palms, and between your fingers. Rub until all surfaces are dry. Here is a link to a YouTube video on proper hand hygiene technique with soap and water. Throughout this course, you have learned about infection control, the components of an infection control program, and the role of a healthcare professional in infection control, isolation precautions, including contact, enhanced contact, airborne, and droplet precautions, the proper use of personal protective equipment, and the importance and techniques for hand hygiene. This video puts it all together in a thought-provoking YouTube video that demonstrates why it is important to break the chain of infection. I hope you have enjoyed this class, and please remember, Infection control and prevention is everybody's responsibility.